This is the Toastmaster, ladies and gentlemen. 1975. May seem to some people as if it couldn't have happened. But I was there, it did happen. <laughs> I was, of course, still young and good looking. I'm just not so young anymore. <laughs> it was a year of outrageous fashions. It was the time people wore some very strange things. It was big hair and colourful clothes, and that was just the men. <laughs> Anything went, and you could get away with it. But it was, say, a year of all sorts of things that happened. It was the year that the movie Jaws was released. First great blockbuster movie. And made people very scared of ever swimming in the sea again. Believe it or not, we believed that movie. We believed it was like that. That's how real it was. It was also the year that Queen's famous hit Bohemian Rhapsody became a hit. We've seen it again recently. It was an interesting year for politics. Margaret Thatcher became leader of the Conservative Party and the leader of the opposition. The first woman in the United Kingdom to do that. Guess what? They've just elected a new leader. It was also the year that the United Kingdom voted to join the European Union. History repeats itself, isn't it? So it goes round and round. The Prime Minister of Canada was Pierre Trudeau. The Prime Minister now is Justin Trudeau. Yes, his son. Nothing really changes, does it? I was wondering, can we call this a dynasty democracy? That's how democracy works sometimes. Some interesting, good, and maybe controversial sportsmen were born this year. Tiger Woods, David Beckham, and Sharp Connors. Also some beautiful women were born. <laughs> Angelina Jolie, Charlize Theron, Kate Winslet. It was it just a coincidence? Also, somebody died that I think was good news for the world, and that was Francisco Franco of Spain. The last fascist dictator was gone, which was great because Spain could then become a democracy and join the European Union. So yes, good things happen too when somebody dies. Meanwhile, back in Pretoria, South Africa, a Toastmasters Club has been formed. And it was to be called for. But just let's put our minds back to what Pretoria was like in 1975. The CBD, the downtown area, was not busy. In fact, after five o'clock in the afternoon, they rolled up the pavements. <laughs> But that was exceptional, except the exception was the German club, where Forum met. People joined clubs in those days because there wasn't much else to do. Some people still don't have a life. And after nearly 40 years, are still members of <laughs> But Forum. Toastmasters Club was started for a very good reason. And it was intended to always be a club of excellence. And it was going to be an outstanding club. And high standards were always demanded of all members. But probably keeping in mind times we lived in the militaristic in our approach. But everything was very disciplined. Very 
much more formal than you will see today. Protocols were strictly observed. How guests were welcomed, how you proposed toasts, all those things were done in a very, very careful way. Because if you didn't do it properly, James Ballantyne would sort you out very quickly. He knew all these things and he had an answer for everything. And it didn't matter what you did, if it was prepared speeches, evaluations, or whatever, it was always done to a very high standard. And if people <coughs> didn't like what you did, you were told, sometimes in no uncertain terms, and evaluations would be somewhat direct and other times very cutting. So you learnt quickly. Just think as we don't do anything quite like that. It's different. The world has changed. But it was all, I think, taken in a good spirit. Of course, much spirits were drunk in the pub afterwards. Mm -hmm. That was part of it. And I think part of the success of those days was the camaraderie. And I actually prepared that earlier, but didn't know what the word was going to be tonight. And I think that was cemented, that camaraderie was cemented in that pub at the German club. And it worked. It worked for us. We were all somewhat younger. After the meeting, we would all meet in the pub and stay there for a long time. The formality of the meeting was gone and we could discuss things. And it was good, it was relaxing and we'd talk about the meeting that had taken place and what perhaps went wrong and what went right. We spoke about other things and the atmosphere was great. It was not unusual to stumble out there at one o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. After one or two beers, <laughs> some spirits, and then of course to still drive home. Frightening when you think of it now that yes, we did it. It was a different time, a different way of life, and we got away with it. I was never aware of cops being a factor. Now they are. Do I want to go back to those times? Absolutely no. Life has moved on and I think that is the important thing. That was another life. It was another era. And I don't want to make the same mistakes again. I'd rather learn from it. And I think we need to build a better future. We can do that by learning from the past. What did we do right? What did we do wrong? We can't do it exactly the same, but we can do, learn from that. Do what we want out of it. You learn, we can learn from the past to build a better club today. And I think that's part of our success here, is we have that to fall back on. We remember it. We say, yes, we could do that, we could try this. But the spirit of what we're doing now. And of course we can also, by doing things right, we can continue to build for the future. So we have three factors, the past, the present and the future. And we must never forget that. That's how the world works. Good things happened in 1975. We mustn't forget that. We mustn't let that go. There were bad things too. We don't always remember them. We all had problems. We all had troubles. We all had that. But we learned from it and we moved forward. And I think that is the most important thing of all, keep going forward. Mr. Toastmaster.